They're right in the center of Munich. Johann Landesdorfer, Robert Innerhofer and their crew. It's one of the hottest locations in the Munich restaurant scene, but the guests here need to be ready for a surprise. We're going to prepare a wonderful menu for you tonight. Is there anything you don't like? Pork. Shrimp and fish. Okay, let's get started. Here, the restaurant chefs choose the dishes. The surprise menu is the specialty of the house. We need two menus without shrimp and without pork. Let's make skate on a bit of fennel. We've got some prepared fennel here and a tomato sauce and some Riesling foam. We can get started already. Now we season the skate and then saute it for three or four minutes. Next put the fennel on the plate and some of the liquid. The fish comes next with a bit of fresh garden cress. And to top it off we have a lovely white wine sauce. So it's done. Service please. Service, bitte. Where does it go? Table five please. So we start skate on fennel with a white wine foam. Our idea was that we do our shopping every morning. We don't have a written menu, so it's easy. We buy whatever looks good. And when it runs out, we make something else. How was it? Very good. Table 4 wants venison. Is that okay? Venison is no problem. We've got everything prepared. Rabbit, veal, guinea fowl, and a few doves and a croaker fish. Johann Landersdorfer decides to make venison with sautéed porcini and artichokes. His partner is choosing the fitting wine. Our guests also come for our wine, not just for the food. Usually they let us choose. Because we pick the food, we also know more about our wines. For the venison, we'll probably go with a burgundy, a subtle and elegant wine to accompany an elegant dish. Landersdorfer and Innerhofer opened nine years ago. The restaurant has become a fixture on the Munich gastronomic scene, even though it got off to a rocky start. We had a small menu at first, then Mr. Landersdorfer stopped making a menu and told me to just figure it out on the restaurant floor. Of course, everyone wanted a menu, but Robert told them we didn't have one. At first, a lot of people just left. That's when we wondered whether we'd done the right thing. When you have 20 or 30 reservations and 15 to 18 of them get up and leave, you think, wow, we're really losing a lot of money here. But this is what we wanted to do. Just a few weeks later, the restaurant was packed. The creative cuisine was also part of the attraction, like this sorbet of basil, normally used as a savory herb. Service, Service please. The finale, basil sorbet with raspberries and sour cream. Reservations are recommended. Thanks to their popular surprise menu, the Landersdorfer and Innerhofer restaurant is almost always fully booked.